Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is We Are Genius. Guys, today again I am with a new tutorial around Raspberry Pi where we will see how to install and use SQLite with Raspberry Pi. SQLite is a lightweight SQL database but it has many advantages compared to other SQL databases uh, and it comes helpful when let's say you are developing an application towards embedded system and you want to store your data locally on the Raspberry Pi because it doesn't require much more configurations as compared to other databases. So let's see what are the advantages of SQLite. It comes with like it's a lightweight database means you don't need much more space on your Pi to install it. It comes with zero configuration, no configuration at all required. We'll see that. Then it's unlike other SQL databases, it is serverless. And it, you'll have only a single database file that is again cross-platform means you can like have your database file on Raspberry Pi and you can simply copy that particular file to your Windows system or Linux system and you can use it there with your other applications. So let's see guys how to install it and let's check it out. So now let's open up a SSH session to our Raspberry Pi. And to check if you have already installed SQLite, you can type on the command SQLite. Okay, it says command not found. Now to install it, you can simply type in sudo apt-get install right. 3. So it's going to download some files and it's going to take some time. So wait till then. So as you can see it has just downloaded 99.5 KB. It is so small. So we have successfully installed SQLite into the Raspberry Pi. So now to check on the installation you can type in SQLite. So what it does, it will take you to the SQLite terminal. And now to exit from this terminal, you can type in quit. Now let's navigate to desktop where we'll be creating a folder that will hold our databases file. Okay, or the .db files. So cd desktop. Then over here, I'm going to make create a new folder that is .db files. Then I'll navigate into the folder db files. Okay. Now you can see when you type in ls, it is shows no files. Okay. And now actually you can open up uh, a particular database in SQLite using two methods. Like you can simply type in the command SQLite and over here you can use the command open and the db file name. So let's say my db dot db okay so this will what it does is it will address the mydb.db file into the current database on main okay the current database name is main so either this way you can open it up or let's quit it first you can simply type in sqlite 3 then dot db file name so in both these command, what happens is if my db.db file exists, they will uh, open up the existing file. Otherwise, they will create a new file my db.db. So let's exit from this terminal and check uh, inside this folder db files will see something like my db.db. That means they created the db database file. Now you can just simply copy this my db.db file and take it to any system and can check out what is the content of the particular database. So let's again get into the SQL terminal. Okay. Now over here we'll get couple of options. Like uh, let's say you want to try on the help. So this shows the different options available on the terminal. Okay. So again check it, take this out out of your own. But I'll just show you a couple of commands. That is databases. 
So this shows the database currently you are aware of point actually. Or the, those databases already available to you. Right? So this is like uh, we have opened up the mydb.d file with the name main. So let's say you want to have open multiple files or multiple databases, you can simply use the command attach. So this will uh, actually open up multiple files with different names. But in that case, in uh, like accessing each table will comes with name dot then the table name. But over there, if you have opened a single database, you can use directly the table name. Okay. So and other commands are like dot tables shows you the different tables over here we don't have any tables so it's like showing nothing now let's create a table inside mydb.dv okay so to do that i can use the command create table create table now let's say uh, my sensor Creating a table sensor data. With parameter like I'll create the ID that is integer type, then it is not 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 this, then open. I'm going to make it primary key and boom. Then name. It is name of the sensor. Then this is like text, and this is like not null. And I'll make another column that is value. Again, this is also text with not no form. Okay. Now each transaction actually completes with a semicolon at the end of it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now when you type in the command tables, it will show you the sensor data. Okay. So we have successfully created a table by using the terminal. Now, uh, let's say you want to insert some data into the terminal or sorry, into the table. You can type in the command insert into sensor data. This ID we are not going to insert, we are going to insert only name and value. values let's say voltage that is 30 let's say oh sorry it has to be like okay so you can see over here we have successfully inserted the data voltage with the 30 value into the table sensor data. Okay. Now uh, you can use other SQL commands like let's say you want to see data from the uh, data, uh, database or table, you can use select star from See over here, one, two, three, two, three. Uh, this is like a separator which can be configured by using the command settings. Uh, sorry, uh, not setting. Sorry, uh, not setting. That is uh, so actually. So this shows you the different uh, uh, settings of your database from. So over here, you can see echo is off, equity is off, explanation of all the things are off, and over here separator you can see yes. So this can be changed by let's say you want to use the change the separator. 
Let's see. Want to change the separator? You can use separator. Then let's say you want to use this. Okay. Now when you type in the select command, you can see. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's change it to something. Let's say trait. You can see it has changed the separator from this a vertical line to X. So guys, this is it. Uh, like you can uh, already have seen how to create a table, how to create a database, and how to like insert data into the database or in the table. So you can check other comments. It is same as MySQL, and you can check this. So in next tutorial, we are going to see how to use SQLite with Java or Python, so that we can use this particular lightweight with database in our embedded system applications. That's all guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's me once again and hope you have liked my video. If so, just hit the thumbs up button. Or if you don't, there is a thumbs down button for you also. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest updates. Okay, see you next time with my new content. That's all guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.